What's up YouTube? Today we are headed to do a transmission rebuild on a scooter, 50cc, just like mine. Stay tuned. Okay, we have arrived here at the vehicle. As you can see, major burn damage on the clutch. It's been sticking real bad. Belt is very frayed. I'm sure that those have the weights might have some issues too, so we'll get in there and find out. There we go. Pull this off. Variator. Oh, damn, it's got some oil on it. Yeah, I've been using a lot of oil in my filter, air filter, I've been seeing. Yeah, I assume those runners are rich. Yeah. I'll pull this whole thing off of there. Plus some air duster, I guess. Yeah, those shoes look kind of glazed too. There's a crack right in the middle of that one. Hmm. I'll set that over here. There's not a lot left in this, but I'm sure it'll help some. What do you got, start for I got some. No, this is just brake cleaner. Man, these weights honestly don't look too bad at all, really. That's all the very little weights are? Yeah, that part of it? but I thought there was any other part. No, nah, they ride in these little channels here. Right. But um, the weight difference is a lot of times in this metal part inside. The hole in the center will be smaller on heavier weights because there's more of this right, metal. Right, be the same size, they're just more. Uh, yeah. Shaft. So I think that. I mean, I don't know if you have a scale by chance to see what these are, but based on the larger hole in the center, I would imagine that they're about the same as yeah. what mine has. Get that all cleaned up in there, best we can. These things get real dirty, guys. Try to get this off the crankshaft. Very nice, very nice indeed. I don't know where the other one's at, but there's supposed to be three of these little clips, and we got one missing there. And it's not stuck on any of the three tabs that it rests against, so that's interesting. Oh, oh, I think I found it, guys. Yep, right in there, it just fell out falling apart that's why we need to do this rebuild let me get a rag well here's some more fluid actually that should be good and boy does that smell strong go ahead and wipe all of this out guys make it as clean as we can This transmission was shot. I bought this too. I got a couple of these. Is it a fuel it, filter? Yes, it is. It's for sport uh, racing or whatever. Oh yeah. I found that in their department. Um, 
I don't know if that'd be a good to use. Uh, this one on here doesn't look too dirty, but no, and the hoses it. may or may not be the no, same the size. Do you uh, want to reuse the original weights or? I brought a scale here. Okay. Um, whatever's got the most. Uh, I don't know what the difference between any of them would be, but um, I, I don't put know. The, right here. Okay. I don't know the four from the eight. You know. Yeah, they're five. So I would probably use these personally because they don't have any flat spots yet, and they, in theory, were working fine before it this happened. I just think that if we use those eight gram weights, it's going to really dog along on takeoff. It might eventually get all right in the top end, but yeah. you're not going to get it in any better top end. It just will start revving higher in the top end, but when you try to take off, it'll probably be I pretty slow. Uh, yeah. Off yeah. Yeah. And then if you go too light, then it re it doesn't necessarily take off faster, but it revs higher in the early uh in lower speeds basically. And then it almost seems like it just wants to rev up. Like if you put too light, it's almost like the transmission is slipping. Like it's revving up, but you're not really getting a lot of power. So I feel like between four and five is kind of the sweet spot, I think. Yeah, I mean, that one, I don't know what its weights are, but it seems to have a good takeoff and pull to it. Um, yeah. That I think in the long haul, I was able to beat him. I think we raced one night, not very far, but... Uh, I think that's how that was. Yeah. What the brand new would, one looks like. Probably, uh... okay. Is that my brake shoe in there? Or no? no, that's the clutch. But and then this here spins the wheel. Right. So when this is spun out fast enough, these shoes will expand out with centrifugal force and touch against this and that's what connects the engine to the wheel Correct. and if it's stuck like if they're not going back in then that can kind of cause the issues you were having so they gave you the whole new insert there all that all yeah trajectory. Well, that's all your old stuff old there. And there's those eight grams. You can see how much thicker the metal in the center right. is. Get all these in there. I wonder what that 150 has in. Yeah, I think that's what those weights are mainly used on, those heavier ones, is like the 150cc engines. Yeah, I need a plug wire for it, a uh, muffler, a battery. belt looks great compared to this old one 669 that should be the same why do you think that started spraying like that it may be because the clutch was sticking and the engine was still revving up and it was just stressing it out that's the best I can think of and, I mean overall it looks like a good belt uh, as far as the interior of it that fabric in the back. Yeah, it's really the sides of the belt, or the corners rather, that you want to worry about the most. So we got that kind of opened up. You have to 
pull this down and almost give it a twist at the same time and that'll bring the pulleys open so you can get this belt in here and then it's got more than plenty of room to go around that and now put this on and this These little fans go bad all the time too because the little Plastic. ears that hold this metal piece on break. It's just crazy why they put plastic in there like that. Supposed to keep it as keep it cool, I guess. And we can put this uh, clutch drum on and the other nut. Tighten those up. This one shouldn't need it, but the other one might. That's that. And just like that, a whole transmission rebuild. Is there another cover that goes on that? Yeah, there's the cover was off when I got here. Where did no, you I mean, put it? That's, was oh, I no, that, that? Yep, that's how it goes. This, you know, goes, this goes on there, doesn't it? No, that's completely behind this other thing. That's what holds the weights in from the back side. So, like, this piece, goes. it goes in here, but one of your little things fell off. I found it, yeah, I found it in one of those corners. But this pulley goes on like that, so it's completely hidden behind all of that with the weights inside. Backs up to this. Uh, if you flip that around, it does. N n yeah, flip this one. The smooth edges go together and yeah, it creates yeah. a pulley. Yeah. And then it slides, yeah, it slides on this shaft. It goes through there like that, but it won't go through the back side. And then this will slide back and forth on that depending on if the weights are uh out or if they're if they're up you know what i mean as it spins the weights go up and it pushes like that and when that happens it causes the belt to go from the center shaft all the way up to the top of the pulley so it makes it from like a small pulley to a large pulley and whenever that happens pretty much the exact opposite happens on the back. It goes from a big pulley to a small pulley. That's good to go. All right. Got that cover back on. Just a bunch of 8 millimeter bolts all the way around. Kick start, just one 10 millimeter bolt. And I like to put the kick starters pointing up a little bit so your foot doesn't have to go down as far to reach it and you get a little more swing on it. Seems like she's fixed. All right. That's going to be the end of our transmission rebuild on a GY6 scooter. If you like the video, please leave a like below. If you like scooters and you've done some work on yours, definitely let me know in the comments below. Not a whole lot of people know how to work on these things. As always, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.